Hi, Mayan. Okay, great. So this is exercise 3.7, and you picked up on an interesting point. I think it's just the way it's phrased. It's not the clearest. So um, <clears throat> I, I imagine in the exam it'll be clearer. Here it says, as you kind of, you'll see here, it says here that the business pays for pays for 80% of its purchases in the month in the month immediately following the purchase. So I know what that looks like. That looks like um, it pays for 80% of its purchases immediately in the month. If it said that, if it said immediately in the month, though I could kind of, but it's saying in the month immediately following the purchase. And th I think this is the second clue in the remaining month, in the second month. So actually it is a month later. So, so kind of going to the answer here, focusing on, um, if we talk about March, so you're paying 80% of this in April. This is the first month, and then you're paying the other 20% in May, right? And therefore, for April, you're paying 80% in May, and you're paying the other 20% in June. So it, it is more language, so you're not... You understand the principle, I think that's the main thing. And in the exam questions, it'll be clearer. But um, you can see here that that's come from March, being paid in May. And that's the 35% from April being paid. Sorry, that's the 35, that's the, that's the 80% from March being paid in April. And that's the 80% of April being paid in May. So I think it's just a language thing. I think it's just a language, um, oh, sorry, a written language. The way it's written, it, it, it wasn't very clear. The exam questions should hopefully be clear.